They're, they're not used to posting three zeros in a row, much less ten zeros. Uh -oh. Ashton Kerstad sends a shot to deep left field. Wilson can't get it. Solo home run, Kerstad. And the scoreless streak ends with one swing. That's what they were looking for. The big fella. The, the big fella getting them on the board, doing what he does so well. This is what you got to like about Heston Kerstad as a prospect. The ability to let the ball get deep and use the backside of the field with power. He can really. Only two or three or four to commit a key error in a big moment. Alex Bregman famously committed an error in the College World Series. He taped a picture of that up in his LSU locker to motivate him for the entire next season. And if he would he would have been a big leaguer anyway, but sometimes that motivation helps. Yeah, it does because you never want breaking ball hammered to left field. Wilson coming in. Can't make the catch. It's gonna get to the wall. Trevor Uzel motors around second, heads to third. He is safe at the bag, and Arkansas has extended its lead on a triple by Casey Martin. Hey, now, this is the Razorback team we're more accustomed to seeing. Extra base hits, speed, athleticism. How about sitting on a first pitch breaking ball? Casey Martin showing you some pitch recognition. Kurt Wilson went wide open and tried to make a inning ending diving catch. Comes up about six inches short. And this is one of the fastest players in America, folks. As soon as he sees that ball down, you are talking about hitting the Jets. To the left side, young backhand, off balance, long throw, late. And it leads to a run, Goodhart with an infield RBI. And that's where the gamble costs the Red Raiders. Yep, that's where it gets you right there. And really a good pitch, a really nice pitch by Killian. There's another ball down in the zone, but it's pounded in the ground right the other way in the six hole, you can see Young does everything. Watch this throw across the body. A nice, strong throw across the diamond, but not in time. That's athleticism Sheesh. right there. That is nice. That's a big fella doing that. Big man making that play. You know what's in here to Omaha? Texas Tech just made one more play than they did down the stretch. But that was a dogfight. It, it's all, look, Arkansas played Ole Miss, and we get these interconference super regionals. It's always going to take some reps and some time because all the tools are there. Wow, this one launched deep left off the bat of Warren and into the bleachers. Two-run shot for Cameron Warren. Cameron Warren had to change up his luck. He usually chews on a bottle cap. Told me before batting practice today, said, no, Gum's going to have to do it because I didn't have a hit with the cap. <laughs> How about the big fella? His 18th home run on the year, a hanging breaking ball, just sitting right in the middle of the plate. And my man knows how to get it loaded and get the head out in front. That is a no doubter. I don't care. That, that just tells you how hard it is to win 20 games, especially in the Western Division. This one is launched deep right field into the bullpen. First home run for the former Razorback, Easton Morrell, against his own club. feel pretty good. Obviously, you tie up a game here in an elimination game in the College World Series, but to do it against your former school when the head coach trusts you with a start that maybe too many people weren't thinking he was going to get in this. But I was just kind of going over some numbers. We rely on Berkey to go downstairs and get some info for us. This one's rocketed to right field. It is gone. Josh Young with a lead off blast.
salute from the Tech bullpen. Salute back. How about that? That's a cool little tradition. A matchup you had to like if you're a Red Raider fan. Cops likes to work to the outside part of the plate. We talked about Josh Young's ability to hit the ball out of the ballpark. Middle oppo and the strength. The same place. Nevitt sweep off. Should have got a swing and miss. Oh. Instead, it's ball four. Mm. Tying run on base in the eighth. Pulled to the right side. Pass one. Fletcher on his way to third. Young tried to deke him, but it failed. And Arkansas has runners at the corners with one down, down one. Heston Kerstad coming up. Pitch of the at bat. Dane Haveman to Jack Kenley. Breaking ball flipped to left field. Looking to tag is Fletcher. Wilson is a pitcher also. Catch made. Throw down the line is wide. And we are tied. The long at bat pays off on a sack fly for Jack Kenley. You said it, Tom. Wilson, who also is a pitcher, you see the arm strength, but this ball just comes sideways out of his hand. And Kostad is half play. Fletcher gets an easy chance to cross home plate without even needing to slide. The Razorbacks tie it up. We got ourselves a brand new ball game. Yeah. 2 2 to Opitz. And got him with another slider. So Texas Tech. Line drive, and Klein is aboard to start the inning. Really good start. Runner goes, the throw down to second is in plenty of time. I believe he's out both ways. I think Josh Young fell across home plate. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Interference might have been called anyway, but how about Casey Opitz? We talked about the way he can throw back there. And even with six foot four, 230 pounds falling right in front of you across home plate, Opitz comes up. So and did Young interfere with the throw from Opitz? I mean, Ben, you said it. How about a slider down and away? Young right in front of him. Didn't look like there was contact. It means. I, mean, I don't I don't see contact here. Opitz could have drawn it. Yeah. He could have definitely gone into him and drawn the contact. That's just so much confidence in your arm. No, no and contact. That's just a, that is just a rocket. Yeah, if he may, if, if Opitz makes a move forward right here and initiates contact, it's automatic. Because clearly he fell way across home plate and young. We were talking about that a couple of days mm -hmm. ago. When you're coaching guys, sometimes you want the catcher to go into the hitter to draw the Absolutely, contact. Absolutely, because oh, yeah. all he would have had to do is just make a motion forward and initiate that contact, and it's a no-brainer. It's an automatic call. But again, Opitz is probably one of the best throwing catch guys there in the entire country. You see what he's done this year. So they're reviewing the play at second base. Did he get the tag on him? Yeah, yeah. Like he hit the main play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see the jersey move right there. You see the back of the jersey yeah. move? Yeah, they got that one right. What a play by Casey Opitz. That's, huh? that's I mean, a big that time. Is that is, that a is a slider is. down and away with the, the hitter right in front of you. I mean, there's not many big league guys can do it that good. I mean, that's how good that was. Dave Van Horn was raving about his defense ability. And you can see why. Yeah. Yeah, he talked about I could play him anywhere. He was an athlete, but like I said earlier, he's doing pretty good right where he is. Sooners. And he draws a two out walk. There he goes. And the pitch is driven high and deep to right. Cursed down to the wall. Off the top of the fence. Here comes the big foul. Cameron Warren's going to motor home from first. Throw to third is late. And the Red Raiders have reclaimed the lead. Okay, now. Who knew the leg 
legs of Cameron Warren would be the difference maker in this one. Here comes Tim Tadlock pushing all the right buttons in this one. 3 1 count, figure for a fastball. Warren is in motion, and this ball is melted by Cody Masters out toward right center field. You see Warren taking off at the bottom of your screen, and he knows he's not checking up. He's got to score in a ball like this. Kerstad does everything he can, but the ball is clearly over his head, off the top of the wall. And Warren in motion, the big fella. Watch him. He's going to grab another gear here, coming around third base. That's a winning run. And the big fella in at home playing. How about a triple? And he tells him, hey, boys, I got some wheels. Did you see the ground grab him on his slide? He was running as fast as he could. He slid two feet. Well, he was pulling that in and ready to go. Oh! Mm. And he puts a tying run on with a fastball to the shoulder. And that's three balls, right? Not even close. One up against the backstop. One away and one. You miss a spot by three feet up and in. Well, they had to take him out of the super bin in game three. He couldn't close out the, the super in game three. They had to bring Haveman in. And that, as you said, that's three, three real wide ones right there. Non-competitive. Swinging. And he sends a soft flare to right field. It's going to drop. Nesbitt stops at second. And Arkansas has got two on with nobody out. How about Dave Van Horn taking the bunt off? He has it on on the first pitch. Franklin. career. And he pops it up. Infield fly in effect. And caught by Klein. Boy, everybody played a little bit tight right Going to it again. Got him swinging. Well, that's what you're worried about. I mean, trying to keep their season alive. Matt Goodhart for Arkansas. Chase this one, flicks it to left. Wilson is there. Got it. And Texas Tech runs down 3 0. Survives. The Red Raiders come back. They'll play again Wednesday. Arkansas season is over.